LifeWatch is a virtual European infrastructure for research into bio LifeWatch is a virtual European infrastructure for research into biodiversity and ecosystems. Italy is And also, I would like to thank all the people that uh, 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 have organized this workshop. Uh, I am uh, also giving this welcome to you in, uh, with a couple of different hats. One hat is for us, uh, the Italian representative uh, in LifeWatch, and the other is uh, us, uh, the uh, professor here in the University of Salento and the responsible for uh, this uh, uh, lab uh, in which we are hosting uh, the meeting. So uh, from one side we are in a physical infrastructure and we are going to discuss something about uh, the uh, e-infrastructure. I just want to present you not LifeWatch because I'm sure that all of you know LifeWatch, but uh, I would like to present you LifeWatch uh, Italy. If you can. LifeWatch is a virtual European infrastructure for research into biodiversity and ecosystems. Italy is one of the countries responsible for the efficient functioning of the infrastructure, for which it manages the service centre. It also contributes to the infrastructure via the eBiodiversity Research Institute. We provide resources, tools for the aggregation, cleanup and standardisation of data services for data interoperability, analysis and modelling. We also produce reports and guidelines for best practices. Using ICT tools and resources, we provide new opportunities for biodiversity research. We connect suppliers and users of research data in accordance with an open access policy. We provide researchers with virtual laboratories that are fully modular and adaptable to all research needs. We are committed to the construction of tools that make it possible to enhance all types of data available online, particularly data on species functional traits, their interactions and the roles they play within their relative communities. LifeWatch Italy is a web-based research centre, but it is also open to all stakeholders and citizens. We see biodiversity as the property of all, serving the common good, believing that all parties need to be informed and able to participate in setting priorities. We promote institutional and political initiatives for the development of strategies that can effectively support crucial economic and social sectors, including agriculture and forestry, fishing, tourism, education and training. In addition, these initiatives aim to tackle some of today's most important challenges climate change, food and nutrition, clean water resources, environmental security and human health, energy supply, sustainable development. Okay, that's just uh, a promotional video. And then uh, uh, I would like to give you a bit my point of view uh, on, on LifeWatch. That is a point of view uh, basically as a user because uh, uh, I am a uh, uh, professor of ecology. My background is in experimental ecology, uh, mainly uh, aquatic uh, uh, ecology, uh, and therefore uh, uh, I'm looking at LifeWatch uh, from the point of view of uh, one of our users that would like uh, to use uh, this infrastructure. Uh, having this, uh, the, the, this uh, approach and this point of view, uh, well, what I see that LifeWatch is, uh, basically, 
is that uh, uh, LifeWatch is constituted by the data. So LifeWatch uh, uh, is uh, uh, a, a virtual research environment, it's a virtual research center like the Cornucopia <coughs> that is, should be able to incorporate data that are coming from uh, every field uh, of uh, biology, from every field of environmental sciences, uh, originally collected uh, with uh, extremely different uh, uh, facilities uh, and physical infrastructure in order to allow researcher as I am to uh, test hypotheses and uh, perform uh, experiments. That is uh, uh, what I would like to, to have from LifeWatch. From this point of view, what we can realize uh, quite easily is that in terms of uh, user, in terms of scientists, uh, we know that there are a lot of data dealing with biodiversity that are available in uh, the large uh, international database. But we also know that we would like to have the data, in many cases, uh, collected at the individual level in order to, to try to understand uh, the uh, ecological drivers of uh, individual metabolism and behavior and how it can affect uh, then the dynamics of population and community. We would like to have the data collected at uh, different spatial scale with a large number uh, of replicates. So we would like to know uh, uh, the, the genetics uh, and the influence of uh, genetics on uh, function, uh, individual functioning, uh, again uh, at the individual level, uh, looking at the intrapopulation variability and try to understand how this intrapopulation variability actually is based on different in uh, the genomic traits uh, or is difference in the transcriptomic traits, so in the what is going to be activated. So we, we would like to have a huge amount uh, of different type of data with a grain and an extent uh, that actually so far uh, is available, but is available only in the computer of researcher uh, and is available uh, in different languages uh, collected in different way uh, organized uh, in different way uh, and basically uh, only potentially available but uh, actually the only way to get it now is to have uh, specific collaboration with uh, colleagues and then exchange uh, Excel file or RASS file or, or other things. So now the LifeWatch equipment uh, will need power to work, and power for me is the ICT component. Uh, we need a huge ICT component uh, for the infrastructure. Uh, but what we mainly need uh, is need to data. So that, that for this particular reason, I think that uh, the topic that we are going to discuss uh, in the next two days is extremely relevant, because uh, uh, we need uh, absolutely to improve standardization uh, in uh, data collection, data description, data exposition. And in, we need to have standardization that is agreed uh, in the scientific community. Because uh, uh, actually, procedures became standard only when they are recognized uh, as standard from the scientific community. That is an added value to have in this meeting uh, large initiative, uh, infrastructure, large project uh, that uh, are discussing together. So uh, I, I'm going to welcome a lot. There's another logo here, and the other logo is... Uh, Life watches. No. The other logo is the logo. So you see that I'm not ICT at all. I am not able to e even to, to have the... So le let me take the last one. And so there's the logo of 150 anniversary of ecology that has been uh, proposed as a term by this scientist. And uh, 
uh, we are celebrating ecology, and ecology as a science has been a revolution, a great revolution, because it was moving the attention of scientists from something that was very concrete, uh, individuals, to something that was not concrete at all, that were interactions among individuals that of individuals with the physical environment. I think that uh, what we need now is uh, a, a similar revolution between uh, actual uh, physical experiments uh, and physical organisms and the, the data that are again uh, as interaction much, much less tangible, but they are needed. So I wish uh, that you have two fruitful working day. I apologize if I'm not managing to follow the two days, but I'm going to be here tomorrow with you. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you to Alberto for the introduction. And uh, I think we can start with a uh, uh, presentation and to, to, to start with uh, uh, our workshop. And um, okay, also from, from my side, uh, uh, very welcome for, uh, for the, um, all, all the people. Also to the people that uh, we uh, are as uh, to, to to the in the in the virtual room thank you barbara thank you anna thank you paolo for uh, participating to this uh, uh, virtual room and uh, yeah in the, in this uh, room physical room and the virtual room uh, we are um, uh, uh, a lot of people that work uh, on uh, on tesauro in tesauri and uh, on uh, um, um on uh, the on ontology and uh, semantics aspect and uh, I think uh, uh, our uh, uh, real object was to is to is to uh, try to put together the, the the people and discuss about the the, the new features and the new uh, aspect about uh, the the the, the design and semantic uh, uh, in uh, uh, ecology infrastructure and um, I see that uh, uh, some people have a different approach but we can start to discuss together to have a common uh, uh, approach and to probably I don't know uh, but in the near future f future to have a, um, a project together to, 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 to work on, on this aspect. Okay, I think the first, uh, um, the first uh, in agenda, the, the first uh, uh, speak is uh, about Barbara Magagna. Barbara, you are me? Yeah, hello. Okay. Do you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's we need to, to uh, have a big volume but can you okay. try to I speak again uh, I will try my best do you understand me okay okay perfect now is is uh, exactly the, the perfect way and so Barbara please can you start yes um, thank you very much for inviting me to speak about anxious I'm very pleased to be part of this workshop, although I was uh, I'm not able to to be uh, physically present, but I hope you can follow uh, my speech. I will try to speak loudly and clear. So I I will speak about Enfes, the environment tutorials developed by the LCR community. Um, we all use vocabulary, old vocabulary, and, um, and we know that uh, we have, uh, we are all uh, using smartphones, and smartphones are 
controls vocabularies are uh, built in, and they are used um, as spell checkers when we type in um, uh, messages, um, or they are used um, also for uh, with the autocomplete function, or when we are looking for something, uh, we have uh, um, we get um, proposals uh, for for uh, concrete um, terms we are looking for. So um, this is all to get harmonized inf information as a basis for that. Um, but MFS is uh, really a thesaurus um, um, based or done for the environmental community, um, but uh, more precisely for the long-term ecosystem research community. Um, it has really been um, developed as a cement form for this um, the LTR conte uh, context. Um, it was based uh, in the beginning on the US LTR controlled vocabulary, uh, but it has been a, um, a common um, effort of uh, in the last years, first of all of the youth, youth uh, LTR community. Unfortunately, um, we cannot really read everything on this uh, slide. I don't know why it has been uh, changed a bit the appearance. But um, what is uh, what I wanted to say? It is free and open, and, and it is open. Uh, it is um, possible to query uh, the entities via uh, a web endpoint, the Sparkle endpoint. So um, this. Uh, that can be uh, considered as the dictionary, as, the, um, as uh, the vocabulary, the common language of the NPF Europe community. I hope the other um, slides will be displayed a bit better. <laughs> so, uh, just to give you, can you hear? Is, it, is everything fine? Just to know, can you hear me? Okay, I have uh, to talk a bit more loudly, so I try that. Um, Enfdes um, has been developed over uh, many, many, many years, um, starting um, as of, uh, by the LTR community, as I said before. Um, it is, um, has always been coordinated by the uh, Environmental Agency of Austria as um, uh, our agency is also having the lead in the LTR Europe. And um, there are um, different uh, groups um, organized uh, around the LTR Europe. One is the Information Management Group led by Johannes Peterfeil. But the, all the thesaurus um, activities were coordinated by Herbert Chance so far. And I have uh, now the nice duty and um, possibility to continue his work. Um, so uh, the very beginning was done um, during the alternate uh, project, uh, which started already in 2004. But more or less by the end, as a two or three years, um, as a, by the end of, of that project, uh, it became clear that we needed a common approach to describe in a harmonized way data and information and resulting from observation and um, measurements of ecosystem processes across different domain specific sciences. So it is not only one. Um, domain um, telling what is important to uh, represent here, but it's coming across as well from different domains, uh, sciences. And we needed to have a common way to describe observation and measurement. So, out of that, uh, the ontology, the social, ecological, and ecological research, and monitoring ontology was uh, developed. I had um, in that um, 
And the last we have a lead on, on the, the development process. So the, um, the core was um, done and, and we started to develop also domain ontologies. Um, but these domain ontologies have not really been finished so far and we did not continue with this activity because it we, we ran out of money and of resources to, to uh, continue this activity, unfortunately. Um, but in the Toronto core is a valid ontology. We can um, come back to that later. And what we, was also a result of this project was that we um, had uh, developed also a common metadata database to describe LTR sites and all the contextualized information. So after that, um, uh, the NPO project followed, uh, where we um, uh, focused on um, the uh, metadata collection. And uh, this was also uh, the first uh, step towards um, uh, the, you know, the building of the results, the end step. And, uh, in the first years, we used different editors like Icobox, Pool Party, but later on we um, relied on Copcrate Editor, and that's also the software we are using now. Uh, then GS Soil uh, was just uh, to say that we, we developed also other thesauri like the Soil Test. So we have um, it's also uh, coordinated by Herbert Chen where uh, Janet concepts uh, were introduced in, in, in this uh, results and all these experiences um, went also into the development of EMFES. Um, another project uh, where we could continue with this um, development was its peer. And um, but today, um, a moment, today, uh, this is the development of the Saros is uh, relying on uh, upon the resources of three different um, H2020 projects. Um, with, uh, where we have different uh, um, and different um, tasks to solve within EMFES. So in eco potential. Um, there's a task, a data harmonization, and we um, focus more on the content of uh, on the uh, extension of the MSET. Uh, in uh, LTR uh, um, project, ELTR project, uh, we um, use um, the this, thesaurus for um, to connect with this dive, with um, the metadata portal uh, for the uh, LTR site. And in Envy Plus, um, where I am um, so I am mainly involved, we uh, have a use case uh, dedicated to the extension of existing thesaurus and uh, for the, um, in the linkages uh, between thesaurus. So uh, from this uh, different project, uh, we, we, we can have uh, resources to continue uh, to, um, um, to do some other uh, further development and um, go on with this activity. Uh, apart from this design, one of, um, of our products also coming from the ITR um, um, dimes. Also, the, the, the dimes, dimes is um, the metadata portal uh, for um, requesting information about site, data, and environment, and um, persons around uh, the IPR community. So here, this is the results. The end test was uh, produced to have a controlled vocabulary 
because we needed a common keyword in time um, when um, um, when we look at theory for metadata. So we, if we, when we look at research sites and data sets, we, we have to, uh, to use uh, keywords, and these keywords come out of end sets. And Dimes is uh, the portal uh, where the user can um, look at this information. But on the other side, uh, we need also uh, common names for parameter genetics for um, data set providers then they have to aggregate the data and provide the metadata. So these are the two main uh, functions of uh, the end steps in Dimes, for example. Um, but um, we need also, uh, also we need uh, end steps also for the multilingual aspect. So we need, um, all, uh, every time we need translation Answers can be a very good tools to look at. And also, um, answers can be used uh, to understand better concepts uh, by looking uh, um, at uh, the definitions and descriptions of the different terms. So, summarizing, we need to, um, the usage of answers in research projects is uh, um, um, looking at the keywords of size. Uh, for data annotation, uh, um, and this will be later on also very important and we want to track provenance. Um, for parameter naming and characterization, and as a reference in documents. So, um, adding words, uh, you can uh, follow a concept um, um, by a hyperlink. So, um, coming now to the end, that's how it looks like uh, now. I have, uh, so, first of all, I have to mention that uh, the end um, is served, has, um, is serviced by uh, CEH. They have the vocabulary server there, and so they uh, guarantee for long term maintenance of this um, result. So Nick the Frau is, I think, um, uh, present at the American lecture, so we can talk about, uh, with him about that. So the, we use the top right editor, and um, this is how it looks like when somebody wants to, um, to look at MPES, uh, not the editor, but just the user. You see that on the left side, you see the concept hierarchy with the different uh, concepts. Um, in the middle, you see the description of the concept in detail, and on the and, and, um, right side, you can uh, search for the concept, but uh, it is also to search for the concept uh, at the uh, left, at the bottom left. Um, that's the very quick uh, search tool. So to really good, also to have this appearance of the um, you um, must be sure that the um, uh, preferences of uh, your browser have um, the in, uh, English as the language uh, on the first um, place. So you have to assure that English is the language set. If, if, if you have another language, you won't see uh, the concept names as they are listed here. But you would see uh, the URI names, also the URI, concept URIs. And this is not really nice uh, and, and readable. So make sure that uh, English is the language of um, the setting uh, of your browser. So when you want to edit and test, uh, you need a password. That, um, and you need to get the um, uh, the um, access uh, by CH, um, and um, we would then use this link. Uh, what I want to show here is that um, the top rate editor allows to work with um, 
uh, different people at uh, the same time. So it's a good uh, a tool for collaborating um, um, upon different institutes, uh, institutions because um, you always work in a working copy. You uh, propose a new concept, make uh, different um, updates or changes, <coughs> and then the coordinator, in this case uh, it's me, uh, can um, decide uh, upon uh, to accept all these changes or to reject all these changes. But if I accept them, then I, I um, Then I um, can convert the working copy to a productive copy, and this I can do with different with different uh, uh, packages of work. One moment, please. <coughs> One minute, please. <coughs> Sorry, back again. I need a little glass of water. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> when editing the concepts, um, you can change uh, the different scope elements like preferred labels, alternate labels, made labels. You can add a definition. And you have. Um, you can also define the different relations like health broader and health related or health exact match, as well as scope nodes. As you can enter scope nodes, we use scope nodes, for example, to communicate uh, or to uh, identify uh, those concepts which will be used um, in dives or keywords. <coughs> And we have entered a, a new element um, that's status. And um, if it is um, set to deprecated, it means that this uh, element, this concept is no more in use. But we are not allowed to delete this concept because um, it's uh, possible that somebody uses this already. And we have um, to preserve this link. So the only information um, we add here is that it is deprecated. So no more use, and you should change uh, this link to a, a, a working, also to an actual concept instead. <coughs> so we, as I said, um, ENF has a sparkling endpoint, so it is possible to query and in a very exact way uh, with the uh, Tesauro. Mm, but uh, this is uh, more uh, the expert, um, uh, reserved to the expert, uh, really capable to use Sparkle, the Sparkle language. <coughs> so um, uh, you see the different components of NSTEF. We have, uh, as I said, uh, based our uh, vocabulary on the controlled um, vocabulary of US and TR. We have used definitions coming from GEMET, from the Hen Henderson's vocabulary. We have um, uh, extensions, uh, previous extensions um, needed by uh, NP Europe, by XP. And we will still extend um, it uh, by the needs of eco potential and of ELTR. And um, probably by other vocabularies. Um, we, are, uh, um, we have also uh, included uh, concepts of experimental ecology from Anna Farm. Um, 
we use humans um, habitat lists and inspire the data team. And you may can dimensions of the QDCY ontology. So you see the uh, many um, connect or connections to other designs so far already. So I give you a, a short uh, overview what uh, is the content of NFES. Uh, we have um, metrics. Also, um, this is the medium on in which the object of interest is embedded. Um, uh, I'm sorry, but the appearance here is a bit different. <laughs> I hope you can read it still. Um, we have the concept of measure, uh, where the measure is a compound concept, but it's uh, determining an observed property for an object of interest like uh, the pH of, um, of, of water. Uh, we have the object of interest. This is substance, a taxon, or other physical chemical phenomenon of the feature of interest that is being observed, like climate, indicator, organism, whatever. <coughs> then we look at the properties, uh, which is uh, the characteristic of the object of interest that is observed during the act of observation. We have the statistical function, uh, which qualifies an observable property and represents some aggregation or derivation. We have a um, method, uh, which is the way of proceeding or doing something, especially uh, a systematic or regular one. We have uh, tools uh, used for the execution of a certain method. And we use units and dimensions as defined by NASA and extended um, with special ones needed by the LTR community. And we have different system classifications uh, from the view of the ecosystem, biome, clim climate, um, land cover, land use. And uh, we define also events um, like disturbance, natural induced events, human induced events, and so on. And infrastructure like LTR sites or IT infrastructure, measurement infrastructure. And um, we also define uh, uh, research topics as they are. Um, uh, important metadata um, needed uh, to be filled in in dimes. Yeah, that's about the content uh, here again. Uh, what we think that in the future we will uh, try to link this emphasis. We want to, to uh, link to different other uh, vocabularies um, um, like for example, like for Tripoli, or C data maps, or um, ECOPA. Um, but um, we, we consider also to be um, joined to um, uh, vocabulary collections like BioPortal, Lustre, or Linked Open Vocabulary. So this is all some, uh, something to be discussed and uh, uh, thought together with this uh, community. So I'm very happy to be part of your workshops. So we can consider in future what we could do together. So just to give you an overview how um, we are organized within the ANFES um, uh, working group. Uh, first of all, so we have a facilitator data, that's me. I assist uh, the overall ANFES work. I support the editor team and the contributors. Uh, I organize the work. I pre-process. Um, um, for example, list of concepts. Um, I train also uh, the editor team. Um, yes, and I have the um, uh, classes. Barbara?
Bárbara. Bárbara, you hear me? Yeah, we, we're still waiting because um, Barbara has a problem with the microphone and so Can me again? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so okay. Uh, it, it was uh, away. I don't know why. So where should I continue? I'm finishing, yeah, not uh, normal long. So where, what was the last one you heard? Can you help me? I'm, I'm sorry, but your, your voice is not good. And I, I didn't now, understand. Now, do you your hear me now? Yeah, yeah, okay. Do you hear me now? Okay. So what was the last slide you, you understood what I explained? What was the last one? Uh, th this slide, different roles in uh, and test. Okay, okay. Okay, so, but you should give me again the role to uh so the presenter role because i cannot uh, i am um, go to the next slide for example can you give me the presenter role again please okay thank you okay. so um sorry for being no. something else Bar Barbara, just okay just to to know the the time because you have a yeah, I'm finishing. Okay. I'm finishing. Um, so um, the editor team is the will um, the authority deciding on pending decisions. Um, the contributor is those uh, is um, are those who really work on specific tasks, and they are assisted by me and co-called by the editor team.
So uh, just again back to working copies. Working copies uh, help to organize working clearly arranged packages. And only after the OK of the editor team, I can publish these changes. So I will skip this, and um, because I explained it before already. <coughs> uh, I just go into what uh, we are working at the moment in EnfTES. So our focus is at the moment to improve the quality. Um, uh, we check and correct errors because there are still duplicates in misspellings and plurals. We check the hierarchy, we check the consistency of content and the completeness. So we have to um, definitely uh, include more definitions. Um, we have to foster translations of terms and we need a lot of native speakers <coughs> in, to be involved. Um, we have to solve the different pending uh, issues. Um, so like operations and code, how we handle that. We uh, work on extensions of the vocabulary. We are looking at the, at the MS Academic keywords and compare it with what we already have. But we also um, have to uh, identify needs from uh, the different domains, domain, uh, like uh, from echo potential. We are looking for extension or integration with other design, like, like live projects and C data net. We are um, uh, we have to advertise and test and, and workshops, conference publications. We are looking to um, add and test the vocabulary registries, and we are seeking, as I said already, um, collaborations with other um, infrastructures. And uh, we are following the activities of the Airbnb vocabulary service and just group. <coughs> so, um, abound, so we are, cannot do everything at the same time. At the moment, <laughs> we are really struggling with the MS Acad uh, Academic Keywords extension and um, with the definitions. And when this is done, we will do a final correction of all we have. And then Barbara, missing you again. Missing you again. Barbara?
Hello again. Barbara, okay. I hope you hear me. Sorry, I don't know why it loses no, no, it. That's so why. It, it, it's okay, okay, it's okay. Don't, don't, don't mind. This is, this is uh, the last, the last uh, slide. Slide? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you, that's more or less I already, already said before. It's just uh, my vision <laughs> where we should go. So I move for discussion. Thank you for listening in, although it was difficult. <laughs> open yeah. to discuss yeah yeah um i don't know if uh, some people here or in remote uh, have a question uh, for, for you um i have a lot of questions but i wait the, the people here in the room yep so hello barbara it's uh, nikos minadakis from fourth no okay. you can hear me right yes i hear you all right so uh, my main questions have to do with the project itself it's an horizon 2020 project so i guess that it's not uh, a lot of time that it started uh, so regarding the task 3.3 defining standards for publishing data and exchange the publishing also includes aggregation of data and uh, moreover you only will define standards or also the policies for doing uh, such actions like publishing and exchanging of data. try to, to have a, a question to, to, to Barbara in, uh, in, in the afternoon or, or after. Barbara, you hear me? Okay. Okay. It's completed. She's completely lost. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think it's better to 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 continue, but I don't know if there is a coffee break. A coffee break. Okay. The the idea is to is to have a coffee break now, and to continue to the presentation uh, after the coffee break, to also to have a time for manage uh, some technical uh, issues, and so probably with Barbara it's possible to discuss uh, a lot of. So sorry, but it's over. Barbara? Yeah, yeah but I, I think in one or two minutes I'm away again. I don't know why. So have you read what I said? It just please make comments of item and, and try to answer. And it's it's very difficult to understand your uh, your sentence. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry. So the sentence I wrote. So I just invite you to write uh, questions to me, and I will answer them. Okay. Um, because I'm not sure if it will uh, work a very long this micro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we can try to to, to write a, a question, and uh, after we have a time to 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 read the, the your your answers. Okay. I'm sorry, but I'm I'm listening as far as I can. <laughs> And I'm here till, till, till one o'clock or something. <laughs> okay, Barbara, thank you. Uh, we have a time to for, for a coffee break now. I don't know if uh, you stay with us uh, in the also before the, the, yeah, the lunch. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm.
before lunch, yes, I believe it. Yeah. And also tomorrow, and I hope tomorrow it will work better <laughs> to okay, follow okay. the discussion. I hope you could follow my presentation, and I'm very yeah, upset that it didn't work that good. And my voice is also not the best because I have a cold, so sorry. Yeah. Okay. okay, Barbara, then, then it's not the problem. Thank you for uh, your presentation, and uh, see you after coffee break. Okay. Okay, Bye. thank you. I think we, we, we can have a time to 